before the earth was born. Even before the sun enlightened the sky. There was only dust and darkness. Drifting through the endless night, but in the silence, something stirred. A star, ancient, massive, defiant, reached the end of its life. And in its final breath, it tore itself apart. It did not die in vain. It sowed the seeds for something new. From the wreckage of one dying star, another began to rise. A second chance, a new fire. This is the story of how our son was born, not in peace but in the aftermath of destruction. The death of a giant was not an ending. It was a cosmic detonation of creation. Atoms forged in its fiery core were cast outward. Carbon, oxygen, iron scattered like ashes across the void. These weren't random fragments. They were the building blocks of future worlds, and they drifted, waiting for gravity to call them home. In a quiet corner of the galaxy, a massive molecular cloud lay suspended in time, cold, dense, silent. Light could not pierce it, but inside it held everything needed for a star to be born. Then, something struck. A shockwave, a ripple, a nudge from a passing star or remnant blast. It was enough. Gravity awoke. A silent avalanche began. Atoms spiraled inward. Chaos gave way to form. And deep within this dark cocoon, a fire was gathering strength. A protostar, not yet a true star, but growing fast. Around it, a spinning disk of gas and dust, a cosmic nursery. Here, the ingredients of planets mixed and collided. But the real battle was unfolding at the core. Pressure mounted, temperatures soared into the millions. The weight of a thousand Earths crushed the center. Atoms of hydrogen were pushed so close that quantum forces began to fail. And then, in a blinding instant, fusion ignited. The protostar crossed the threshold. Hydrogen fused into helium. Light exploded outward a nuclear fire that would burn for billions of years had been lit. Our sun was born. 